the reason I want to do this is because I realized like my friends from high school who are like not doing much, they don't really have much of a vision. And then my friends who are crushing it, they all have their visions. They know exactly what they want. And I deliberately used a vision to get me to where I am today. I deliberately used it. And so I just thought if you guys want to get clear on your vision, we could do a little vision workshop here together. Have you get started being clear on your vision? Because ultimately the root cause of all your actions that you take is your vision. Like the only reason I'm, I'm on my laptop here today is because of a vision I'm holding. The only reason you're here attending this call right now is because you're holding a vision. The students who come on tonight's call, 5 p.m., they're gonna be there because they're holding a vision. So, like the only reason Amy's booking calls and closing sales is because she's got a vision. Same with feeling, she got a vision. So the clearer you get on your vision, the more money you're gonna make faster. If making money is part of your vision. So let's get into it. And my God, if you guys want to taste the most delicious cinnamon buns in the world, if you, if you hold the vision of cinnamon buns, Casey can make sure that vision comes to fruition for you. Because Casey's been holding the vision of hooking people up with epic cinnamon buns. So if you haven't tasted our cinnamon buns yet, you're crazy, go order some. They're at the bomb.com. Beyond bomb.com. Beyond bomb.com. They're like, they're illegal. Like they shouldn't be legal. They're like crack. She sprinkles, she must sprinkle something on there, man. They're, they're too good. Like I need to make sure I don't order them too regularly. They're too good. Okay. Let's get into the vision workshop. So what you're gonna need for this is you're gonna need a, you're gonna need a uh, Google Doc, like a blank Google Doc. And type a one in the chat when you, when you, once you have either a blank Google Doc opened up or you have a notebook, pen and paper with notebook. Should only take us 10 minutes, maybe less. Type a one if you have a notebook or you got your Google Doc open and ready to type. Type a one, type a one, type a one, type a one. One more one and then we're good. We got here, okay, good, we're good, okay, sweet. So, what you wanna write on this notebook, and there's no right or wrong way of doing this. This is just the most straightforward way of getting clear on a vision. And once you're clear on this vision, all you have to do is hold it in your mind's eye as frequently as you can for as long as you can throughout the day and start th not thinking of this vision, but thinking from this vision. Okay. So the vision we're about to create, once it's created, you're going to think from it, not of it. Capiche? Cool. So number one, I mean, this is going to be a series of questions. Number one, ideally, ideally, what amount of money would feel really, really good for you to be earning every month? What amount of money would feel really, really good for you to be earning every month? Write that number down. It might be 5,000, it might be 25,000, might be 50,000, might be 100,000, might be a million, might be 100 million, might be a billion. Whatever my money feels good for you. Okay. Now, once you're clear on the amount and the exact amount, then ask yourself, how would it feel to be earning that much money every month? How would it feel to be earning that much every month?
Next question is, what would you be doing every day if you're earning that much money? What would you be doing every day with regards to your business? And what would you be doing every day with regards to your lifestyle? Just not business related. It's kind of a two part question. What would you be doing every day if you're earning that much, when you're earning that much? Because you're earning that much, what are you doing every day? Now that you're earning that much, what are you doing every day? What are your business duties that you do every day now that you're earning that much? And what are your lifestyle hobbies and habits now that you're earning that much? Okay. Next question. How does it feel to be doing that every day. How would it feel to be doing that every day? Next question is, what do you see every day now that you're earning that much? And now that you're doing that every day, what are you actually seeing? So for example, if you say that every day you go to the gym, maybe in this case, you, what you would see is workout equipment. You'd see people sweating. You'd see the sun shining through the windows at the gym. What do you see? Maybe you see a really nice kitchen, nice clean kitchen, a clean countertop. Maybe you see a bunch of fruit. Maybe you see Casey cinnamon buns. What do you see every day? Next question is, and you can spend more time after this, by the way, filling in much more detail, but we're just kind of skimming through this right now. Next question is, what do you hear every day? What do you hear every day? Maybe if you want a little puppy, you hear a little puppy going, <laughs> maybe you want a cat, maybe you hear meow. Or maybe you want to live by the beach and you hear the waves washing up on the shore. What do you hear every day? And in addition to what do you hear every day, make sure to write down what do you hear people saying to you or about you? What are people saying to you or about you? 
me, for example, when I was creating my vision, one thing I wrote down for this was my students asked me great questions. I love getting good questions. Those are the best. <laughs> and by the way, don't ever worry about asking a stupid question here. As long as you're like genuinely curious or you're like genuinely confused and you ask a question, it's going to be a good question. Okay, so what do we see every day? What do we hear every day? This is a fun one. You ready for this one? What would you be spending your money on? Where's the money going? What are you buying? What are you buying? You buying plane tickets? Are you buying nice clothes? Are you buying a Tesla? You better be buying a Tesla. Are you buying a puppy? Are you buying land? Buying a new computer, buying a, a maid, a cleaner, a chef, buying a new mattress, a new carpet, greenhouse. Maybe you want a greenhouse, buy a greenhouse. Okay, so next question is, who would you spoil? Who would you be spoiling? Who would you want to spoil? And what would you want to spoil them with? Who would you spoil? Maybe it's you. Mom, your dad, your brother, your sister, girlfriend, your boyfriend, maybe it's your dog, maybe it's your grandparents, your best friends. Okay. And next question is, what would your morning routine be? What would you do every morning if you were making that much money? First thing in the morning, what would you be doing? So maybe it's meditation, maybe it's breath work, maybe it's some yoga, maybe it's a walk. Maybe it's a cold shower. Maybe it's a warm shower. Maybe it's drink some tea. Maybe it's pet your puppy, pet your cat. What would you want to do every morning? Okay. And then, again, fill in more detail later. Uh, but next question is, what would your ideal evening routine be? That last hour before bed. What would you want to do every evening? Right, and then where would you be living? Where would you be living? Are you living in a different country, different city? 
different house, maybe across the street? Or would you just stay right where you are? If you love where you're living, staying right where you are is just fine. And then back to the uh, back to the morning routine question. How would it feel to be doing that every morning? How would you feel going through that routine? And how would you feel once that morning routine is checked off? How would that feel? Would you be super energized or would you be like at peace and calm and chill? Would you be all zened out? Or would you be like Tony Robbins and just wanting to take over the world? How would you feel after that morning routine? And same thing with the evening routine. How would you feel during that evening routine? And how would you feel after that morning, after, after the evening routine has been checked off? Cool. And then last question here is what sort of results are your customers, clients, students getting from working with you? What sort of results do you see them getting? If you're making all this money, what are you getting the money for? Like what, what, what are your students accomplishing? What are your clients accomplishing? What are they accomplishing? All right, so that's that. How was that for everyone? <laughs> cool. Good, 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 good. Yeah, you're welcome. So again, now that that vision, at least the foundation is kind of blueprinted out there, uh, you can really go deep into that and fill it out with more detail and grab some pictures on Google images or Instagram, wherever, just grab some pictures that represent what you put on there. So let's say you said you want to buy a greenhouse, go find like that perfect greenhouse photo, stick it on there. Maybe you want to get a puppy, find that picture of that puppy, stick it on there. Start getting some visuals. Okay. And, uh, Just ask yourself every day, like, how would it feel to be, or how does it feel, I should say, not would it, how does it feel to be earning that much? And then feel it. Feel it now. Feel it now. And the cool thing happens is like once you start feeling that way now that you're earning that much now, it's this like universal paradox that kicks in where it's like, okay, when you feel that you're already earning that way now and you genuinely feel that way, that you're already earning that much, it doesn't matter if you earn that much or not. 
because you already feel like you are, right? And it's in that moment when you let go and you're like, it doesn't even matter if I earn that much because I already feel like I am. It's in that moment that things start clicking and you start getting paid the amount that you've been feeling like you've been earning for the past little while. But the more clearly you can feel that, the more clearly you can see that, the faster your manifestation will come. So set up post-it notes around your house. Set up little reminders in your room, on your fridge, in your bathroom mirror, right on there. How does it feel? How does it feel to be earning that much? How does it feel to... Hey, if you're helping people with weight loss, you might ask them that question. How does it feel to have a flat stomach? How does it feel to be 10% body fat? How does that feel? And you got to start feeling that way now. Cool. Glad you guys like that.